All right, we are back, and I got quite a decent amount of loot. Chucked a bunch of netherrack, but, you know, got some soul sand, got some gold, bunch of stuff we're never going to use. Yeah, and very little blaze. I think I fought like eight or nine blaze and only got two blaze rods, so yeah, that's cool. But what's the plan for today? Well, since everything is gated behind... This right here, we're going to get it set up and get to the brass ingot. And what up? Cool, cool. So let's look at the brass ingot. And yeah, I was saying, everything is gated. <laughs> There's alloy kiln is the next step for alloying, which needs a brass ingot. All the other, there's no foundry alloying or smeltery alloying that I could find. As I was trying to do the Tinker's Anvil, not a single one. So I was, like, very appreciative of that. It was just a lovely thing for them to do. All right, so brass is zinc and copper. Do I have that? Question of the day. Got one copper. Got some zinc. We need copper. So I'm gonna now that I'm back, I kinda wanted to show you guys what I had and we're gonna where we're gonna get set up. For the time being, I'm gonna put the burner underneath here. Oop. Gotta pick it back up. It's gonna go right there so I can easily feed it. And we're just gonna keep kind of using this as it is until we can get ready to expand further down. As far as the quest lines, like I said, it was kind of gated a lot. Uh, to get the kiln bricks, we needed the brass. And then the coke oven, brass. Everything has brass. Uh, but that's our plan, is we want to kind of get into here a little bit and start working down, which will open up a few more. What did I unlock? Oh, nice. A few more things. So I'm going to go exploring and find some copper. Uh, I can go to the mining dimension. I believe it is up at a higher Y level. So I'm going to go get that, load up on some resources, and we're going to come back and we are going to just knock out as much as we can. Let's go. And now that we've got everything we need, we're going to get ourselves a rolling. Alright. Oh, hey, chicken. So we're going to need zinc and copper. We'll do some of that. And I grabbed some more zinc while I was out there. Here you go. Be nice if it just mix right here it'd be lovely get one are you gonna dry it Jeez. All right, and grab that. Wow, this takes a long time to dry. Hmm. I feel like that got slowed down dramatically. Alright, so let's look at this brass recipe. So it should be one for one will give us two brass ingots with the blaze burner. Now, does that also work with... And that is the Aramendus. Does not look like it. Okay. So let's grab our blaze burner. What are you doing in my house, chicken? Zoom. Where did I put you? Ah. Hey, I'm going to grab ourselves a little bit more coal. Put him down here. And we'll take 18 of these. Did I really? 
Why is you guys letting Stubby do this kind of thing? 18 of those. Throw that in. Throw that in. And start feeding this little boy right here some heat. Now he should be mixing it up. As long as he stays hot enough, it should hopefully mix all 18. So it's a 36 brass. Decent little start. Okay, I'm on. I wish there was a way to see. Maybe there is. I want to see how much heat he has left before he goes to sleep. Don't want to risk it. I want this done. And of course it's raining. Boo. There we go. And we have just opened our way up into a lot of different quests. So we want to get the kiln, which will make a lot easier for us. And that's going to need sandstone and a brass ingot. Looks like we need more sand. Right there. I could also just do it the right way. And one brass ingot. And now we have the kiln. We're also going to need the engineer's wrench to form it. Or hammer, not wrench. Ah. Hammer. And that is vanilla, so we'll need a string, an iron, and a couple sticks. String. Sticks. Iron. And this is, there we go. So much stuff in my inventory to keep clean. I need more storage. All right, so let's go ahead. I think we're just gonna stick it outside for now. Ooh. We can make the rain stop, yeah. All right, now uh, that was supposed to make the rain stop. Thank you. And one little whack of a hammer. Oh, that thing is still pumping away. Holy cranky. Now, can we use brass? If we wanted to make this one, there's a kiln recipe. Okay, it still has to be ingots. Got it. So let's go ahead and get, while we're... Pushing through this. Where's my zinc? Eight. Knowing that we're going to need a lot more, I'm just going to keep stacking these in here. And we can start looking at the next quest. Nice. Oh, really? I crafted the hammer? Ah, oh, stubby, stubby. And we want to make the coke oven. So we're going to need four. Eight. Twelve? Was that? Twelve, right? And grab some more sand. Dang, I still need more. We really have to get a lot of stuff for these. This is crazy. Quantum quarry. What is this? Oh, I don't have the netherite yet, but that is interesting. I wonder what that does. Hmm. We're going to find out, I think, pretty soon. Huh. All right, so let's grab that sand. I need a closer beach. This is one of those times where I regret picking the mountaintop before I went and gathered all the resources I needed to build stuff. But, you know, make sure some cool adventures down the mountain. Ow.
Uh, yeah, let's just keep getting it. Why not? Ooh, even more copper. All right. Now we can make our way back up. easier to get up than I expected. I really thought I was going to spend like 10 minutes trying to get back up. So that's very reassuring. Come on. Munch down, guys. Now we can run! Let's look at the Coke oven. Coke brick. So this one is a 3x3, three three, so we're going to need 27 of these. And we get a much better number. And we're going to need 12, 12 clay balls, 12 brass, and 3 chiseled stone. Or sandstone. Yeah. Bunch. What did I do with it, guys? Ha ha ha! Yeah, we'll just go ahead and set this up. Um, horrible product placement ideas. All right. Grass. Torch. And a whack at a hammer, and now we have a coke oven. Now, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say things have gotten changed. But let's see, cold to cold coke, easy, perfect. Got a little nervous because with all the changes, I just kind of assumed that that one was not going to be the same either. So we'll stick in here. And the next thing we're going to want to make is brass, the blast brick, which is going to be nether bricks, bricks, and coke, coal coke. Okay. And we need 27 of those as well. So 9 times 4. 36. We have 4. Need one more clay. Oh, right there. We'll get this smelted. All right. And then we'll need nether bricks, so also 36 of those. And we'll get that cooking. And the last thing will be a coal coke that we will get from this pretty little oven right here. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and look at that brass. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
we've gotten to create a little bit more, thankfully. And we're going to have to get to the brass plates. Immersive, we are getting into it. And RF tools with a blazer on. Got it. I was like, how did I get into RF tools? That was confusing me for a second. And let's go put our brass coins up. Ah, stacks of 50. Can we compress these? Like this. Got it. And like that. Like that. Go. And sort you out. Put the coins away. We got our coal cook. And we're gonna need a bucket. Put you in there for the next one. And we just have to sit and wait. All right. Uh, so while I was waiting, I actually went ahead and made the seared shoot, and I upped this a level. And we need more lava. But yeah, so it kind of automates the process slightly, at least especially since there's no alloying. We don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, I didn't mean to do what I just did, but it's okay. Let's make this the uh, blast brick. Oh, uh -huh. we'll take you and we'll take you. And we'll make some more of you. <laughs> Nine more to go. We'll start putting the blast brick right there. There you go. So the seared chute is the input point for the smeltery. And I'm just using a hopper to dump in. Once I add some more lava, this process will just continue. So we can grab a bucket. We can grab our lava. And let's look around for any other things we might want to throw in. Do I need blaze blood for you? Hmm. Let's find out. Nope. Wait. 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 Yeah, lava. Okay. I got scarred. We need to do some sorting. Definitely need to do some sorting. And you, you. And, but um, so the seared shoot is almost the exact same recipe as the d drain. The drain was like this. The shoot is like this. And now we can just kind of oh, no, you dump stuff in and let it run. We can put our lava down. And as you can see, it's just filling itself up as it goes. And I should have enough seared bricks that I can really, really up the level. Seared. Ooh, coal. Alright. Will that be enough? We don't know. Ah, one. One shy. One shy. That is pure evil. Nope, more than one shy. That was four shy. I also can't count. Man. So looking at these, jeez, man, we're just knocking out quests. All the time. How did I not have... Oh, they made him before I... Yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep. Seared shoot. And... Cold coke. Creosote. Treated wood planks. So treated wood planks is the basis wood material for immersive engineering. With that, we're going to make, like, the windmill, the water wheel, all of everything. Either use this... Pretty much steel or treated wood. 
And that just uses creosote, bucket in the middle, and eight planks around it. And we knocked that one out. The engineer's workbench. Do we have enough? Uh, I don't think so, but we're going to find out. Nope. We'll grab ourselves some more creosote. And a little bit of oak. Engineer's crafting table, so we'll need a regular crafting table. Boom. Like that. We're going to need an iron ingot. I think it should be everything but the fence. And now we have the engineer's workbench. We still need to get the blueprints to actually make this functional. But you see, you'll put a blueprint here and you can craft items usually for cheaper than their uh, regular crafted recipes. So, for example, if I could just see off the top of my head at immersive, uh, something that would craft in there. My eyes don't want to work for me. Vacuum tubes. Okay, so there isn't even a vanilla recipe. We're straight in the engineer's workbench. But to use it, we're going to need the blueprints. The blueprints are going to use blue dye. Oh, this one. Which one is this? Pad banner pattern. So we want to look at crafting components, which will be copper, aluminum, iron, blue dye, paper. You're going to want the arc furnace electrodes eventually. Maybe not. Metal press molds, absolutely. Iron plate. And that's probably as far as we, I think we're going to get into it. But we shall see as the quests come along. Sweet. And that's enough to do the blast furnace. And I'm going to go ahead and break this because I got a gut feeling that I'm going to mess up and it actually wanted us to hold all 27. It did. And now we can take our hammer, make it a real thing. And we can put our coal coke and iron and start processing that into steel. This is a very slow process. We may need more of these. We may look at other possibilities to make steel. Hopefully something comes along. Clean up that quest and that quest. And on the main progression line, we're kind of wanting to make the brass casing, which will need some brass plates. Let's go with uh, six for now. Three, four, five. And the casing will also take an andesite casing. Thought I had some extras left, but I'm not seeing them. Alright, so let's look at this. Casing. And the side will be log, planks, and... Get some more of those. 
And now we've got the brass casing, which unlocks some of the higher tiered items like the mechanical crafter, uh, the deployer, which now we'll be able to get into some automated farms like, say, a tree farm, which is probably going to be something we're going to want. And food, because I can't live off berries forever, despite what everybody says. I believe that is all those. Look at that go. Ingots galore. And now we have our first steel ingot. Alright guys, we are going to wrap it up here. Now it is going to be another waiting game, but I wanted to show the process to getting all the way to steel. Moving forward, we're going to need to load up on brass. Uh, we're going to need to get these electron tubes, which is quartz and redstone. Just like this. And we're going to need to get a load of steel to start getting into the immersive quest line. So I'm going to try to build up as much of a reserve as I can. Uh, think we can get close to combat machines, Aww. but we're gonna want to get the was it the squeezer? It looks like the crusher, arc furnace. I think that's it. But this is gonna be our goal for the next episode. We really want to dive into immersive. Thank you. Aww. Thank you. Thank you. And one more. Thank you. Uh, we're going to want to dive into immersive. So we got to get through all this stuff and hopefully get enough steel and redstone to maybe even knock out as much of these little multi blocks as we can. And still got to build a, build a better base. So I'm going to work on that. Until next time, stubby out.